the Jacks not winning last year, they they in a losing streak, and it only took the, the first game uh, at Texas. So to kind of get that that monkey off the back, and yeah. what, what did the victory do uh, for this Jacks team? It's definitely giving us confidence. Um, I feel like we're more of a team than we were last year, previous years, as some of the players returning uh, we're talking about. Um, yeah, we're just eager to get out there now because now we know what it takes and we, uh, we're just ready to go. Uh, talk about the, the win on Saturday. Uh, you guys uh, trailed the second half, uh, a different story. But what, talk about what kind of uh, you know, put you guys uh, over the top and from the defensive standpoint of uh, moving on to the lead. Yeah, well, we gave up like one or two big plays one in the first quarter as a defense, and that was pretty much the only play they really had. So we knew that we could stop them. And then our offense, the second half just came out grounded and pounded and pretty much took over the game. Offensive line took over. Nick had a pretty good game. Jaquan had a great game. And we just pretty much, our conditioning kicked in, and we pretty much were better conditioned, and that's what ultimately led to the victory. Uh, this week, uh, home opener uh, taking on uh, Azusa the first time, first two games against Azusa. Not only matchup, but uh, on defense, uh, how what is your attack to stop uh, uh, their running back? Well, he's a big guy. You know, everyone knows about him in the nation. Uh, we just haven't gone over a game plan yet. I think we're putting that in today, but I mean, I'm pretty sure the game plan is going to be 33. Um, but they pretty much make the quarterback beat us. So we're looking forward to that. Um, you know, for the viewers out there, um, you know, those teams that uh, the team pass the ball and you're guarding those uh, receivers. But when you have a running back, or especially a team, uh, a very good running back, how, what are the team's game plans to, to kind of stop that? Is it more than just one guy keen on the running back, or what do you guys change up on defense? Um, yeah, pretty much just keen on them, uh, putting a spy on them maybe. Um, I don't know, Coach Mack will come up with a game plan. He always comes up with good game plans. So um, I'm guessing just putting one, two guys on him, just to like spy him around just so he doesn't break loose, try to contain him. Um, obviously, you want to do well this week facing a tough team in Azusa, but you got the home fans. Mm -hmm. uh, you, they did do a lot of cheering last season. Obviously, you want to give them something to cheer about not only this week, but every, every at home game out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the last year was disappointing, especially coming from the, la the follow the, the earlier year, 2012, when we were seven and four. So, I mean, getting that first win off our backs, you know, is gonna make us a little looser too. So we'll play with a little more intensity, I, I'm guessing. And then um, the fans, the fans will come out and support us too, knowing that we do have the victory and we'll be expecting more. You, know, you guys got a freshman quarterback, got some new players on offense and defense, but how much uh, for your guys' job to do well and take some of the pressure uh, off the offense? Yeah, you know, Robert's done really well this fall, and um, he uh, definitely showed himself this last game against Kingsville, not turning the ball over, getting the ball in receiver. The offensive, the line, offensive line did a great job protecting him too. But as a defense, um, just pretty much three and outs, getting him the ball so he gets more comfortable. and. Uh, Turnovers to make a shorter field for him, so that he doesn't have to put all the we don't put all the pressure on him, um, and it also helps that Nick's back there too, running back, so it takes a little bit of pressure off of him. Since you're a defensive guy, uh, uh, for for this Jacks defense, what do you guys need to do to, to keep on improving each and every week? We need to limit big plays because that hurt us last game. We I think we had four. We had meetings yesterday. We had four big plays that we let up. We need to limit those uh, cost turnovers. I think we had one. I dropped a couple. But uh, yeah, pretty much just capitalize on our opportunities and fly to the ball. All right. Talk to us a little bit about the situation when, uh, when Jerry had to leave the game against Kingsville. How did you and your defense overcome that adversity? Yeah, it was a big loss. You know, our leader of our defense goes out. Jerry, uh, pretty much the figurehead of our defense. Uh, it allowed other guys to step up and other opportunities. You know, DJ came in, uh, Gianni came in, did pretty well. Um, I think we all stepped our game up too, knowing that he was out, so that uh, uh, nothing nothing big happens. So I think we did pretty well as a defense when he went out. This past week, it was a long trip, the longest of the year in terms of distance. And then on top of it, it was your home opener. 
the Jacks had lost 13 straight coming into that game. What did you guys tell those younger players uh, to get them prepped for that game? Pretty much as a new year, don't go by what happened last year because it's a completely new team. Um, you know, I feel like we were more, we're more as a team than we were last year. We brought in the new guys. You know, we all have the same goals, and that's to win the GNAC. And they bought into that, and they're starting to they're listening to the older guys and they're getting more accustomed to what what we're doing. Last question, and that is, Coach Mack preaches flying to the football and causing turnovers. And really, those two aspects of the defensive side of the ball really helped the Jacks to victory this past weekend, especially the block on the end zone and recovery by Abdullah. Talk to us about um, how the team is working to really maximize the attacks on the defensive side. Yeah, you know, Khalid's blocked punt, that was huge for us because it gave us the momentum back. We were down 14-3 to at that time, I believe. And then he blocked it and recovered it for a touchdown, so that gave us huge momentum. And that, that carries on with, to the defense because then we, we start playing with a little more swagger and we start flying to the ball. We start holding people up, trying to strip the ball, getting picked. I think the, the next uh, possession they had Travis pick the ball and took it down to like their four. So that was huge for us and uh, gave our offense a short field. So I think our defense, you know, flying to the ball, uh, it'll create turnovers and it'll create good things. So that's what Coach Max has been preaching to us.